no ma'am. And this is the finished look. If you want to see how this wig went from that to this, just stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra. As you read by the title, I'm going to be reinstalling this wig, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this is the before. I just wanted to show y'all a quick before of the wig so I can get it together. Um, I had reinstalled this wig. This is going to be like my second time, I think. If y'all go back to my videos, I installed this Eunice. This is Eunice hair, by the way. I installed this wig um, some months and months back, and this hair is still super bomb. I love Eunice hair. Oh my gosh, y'all. Would y'all believe me if I said this wig was freaking 10 months old? Eunice. Y'all, this wig literally installed this wig 10 months ago and it looked like this it looked dang on good okay hey look Eunice if y'all trying to work again y'all trying to collab I know I ain't been making hair videos like that but I'm gonna get back to it hit your girl email because Y'all, I've loved their hair since day one, since like my, our first collaboration. Yeah, they had sent me this wig a while back and yeah, I customized it. I just had it going all back and I wore it, I think for a few days. I just sprayed it with got to be glued to like lay it down and now I'm ready to reinstall her. I'm about to go ahead and wash this frontal even though I really don't want to y'all. I really don't want to wash this and have to like press it back out and do all that stuff, but whatever. I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna do a good job. And I think I'm gonna install it with got to be glue again because I don't think I plan on like keeping it in. Yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this wig. And then I will be back and we can get into install. I just wanted to show y'all like literally how the wig is looking right now. All right, y'all. So this is the unit freshly washed. I'm going to link what I use down below in the description box because it is bomb and it gets all my wigs feeling like silk after I wash them. I'm also going to be going in with my lace tint spray. I used that in a video before, so I will link that down below as well. Since I have makeup on, I'm just going to be going in with my facial toner to get rid of the makeup. And then I'm going to be um, cleansing my hairline with some alcohol on top of that. And I just have that on a cotton round just to clean the hairline so that the wig will adhere to the skin. And I also have two caps under this wig. Um, ever since I did my big chop, y'all, it's so easy to install wigs. I will also link that in the iCards and the description box below because your girl chopped her hair off. Update. Um, <laughs> I haven't did one of these types of videos in a minute. But yeah, I'm just going on my got to be glue spray. And I usually, I don't do this a method too often, but I'm doing it in this video, but I'm just basically just spraying on top of the lace. And then I'm going to be combing that back because sometimes when you have too much got to be glue spray, it can get crunchy. So I'm just combing that back and then I'm going to be going on my blow dryer. Don't talk about my blow dryer. Like if you've been here for a while, you know what happened to it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to use it till it breaks, period. So I'm just blow drying that dry and holding it down. Now I'm using my comb just to separate the baby hairs out and I'm going to be going in with more got to be glue spray and doing the same process more so towards the um, sideburns and I'm also using that comb just to make sure that the baby hairs are again being separated and nothing is getting crunchy. That's why I keep combing it into the hair. So now I'm going to be doing the same exact thing to the other side of the hairline, except I forgot to just spray on top and I did like a layer on my skin first, but it's fine. I mean, it's all going to get adhered with the got to be glue at the end of the day. I told y'all you don't usually do the method where I spray the um, got to be glue on top of the lace, but whatever. I'm just making sure um, the baby hairs are again separated. I'm telling y'all, 
I keep stressing that because it's so easy for them to get um, saturated in the got to be glue and then they stuck to your skin and all that. So I'm just making sure that they're um, not getting stuck to my skin during this process. I don't want them down until I'm ready to lay them down with the got to be glue gel. But yeah, I'm just going on top with another layer, making sure everything is secure. And yeah, y'all, reinstalling a wig is actually like really pretty simple. I feel like as long as you start with a clean wig, it is really simple. Y'all didn't see it on camera, but I actually went in and cleaned my hairline a little bit more about the sideburns because that side was not trying to stick. So yeah, just make sure you clean your hairline really good and there's no makeup or any oils or anything because that can prevent the lace from sticking. So it took me a little minute to get the other side down, but I have finally got it down and now I'm just using my elastic band. Um, this is the key y'all to a nice melt, an elastic band, a scarf, whatever you want to use. Ever since I figured out this whole elastic band thing last year i have like never went back now i'm going in with my um hot comb i did use my care care wax stick on top y'all gonna see it um in a second and i really should have went through my wig i really could have went through it a little bit more when i initially um customized this wig i did it on my mannequin head i always customize my wigs on my mannequin head first as far as like doing most of the work so then when i get ready to install it it lays flat and it's like fairly easy um so yeah i actually hot combed all the hair going back and that's why you see me going over it so many times well i go over it so many times anyway but yeah i'm rambling but that is why it's kind of the hair was kind of used to falling back because i had all of the hair going back and then I switched it up and decided to do a middle part. But anyways, <laughs> I was just trying to make it as um, flat as I could up there. And now I'm going in with the black got to be glued gel. And I'm just going to be using that to lay my baby hairs. And I'm just going to let y'all watch that. I feel like watching somebody do baby hairs is so much easier than explaining. But I always use the got to be glued gel. And I use my finger, as y'all can see, um, just to help me like swoop the hair and maneuver the hair where I want it to go. I really like to take my time when I'm doing my baby hairs or my edges or whatever y'all want to call it because I feel like they really just make the look come together. So as y'all can see, I'm tweezing them um, if I see that they're too thick in some areas and just customizing them and taking my time. Sometimes I can't get the size to match. I have to, uh, I'm going to have to work on it, but I just tried to do them as best as I could and I think they turned out okay for the most part. They it look pretty good. It look pretty good. I don't like thick looking baby hairs or nothing like that so all right y'all so after i'm satisfied with my baby hairs i'm going to tie them back down with the elastic band and then i'm going to be going in with a powder even though i use my lace tint spray sometimes i like to go in with the powder directly in the part and now i'm going to get ready to press my hair back out again just to run the flat irons through it I love these flat irons y'all know every time I use them um I talk about them because I love them I got them from Ross I think they're a Revlon flat iron if I can link them down below for y'all I will but yeah I got them from Ross check out y'all local Ross TJ Maxx all that for like hot tools and stuff like that because they the bomb for literally anything but yeah now I'm just pressing the hair out I'm just using the chase method and I don't think I mentioned it but I did go in with the olive oil like it was like a heat protectant type of serum that i put on this hair before i um 
press that out and all of that good stuff but yeah now i'm just taking the band off and i'm brushing through it and y'all that is basically it your girl went off camera and just fixed her makeup up a little bit y'all just seen me popping on a little, little gloss but yeah y'all All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. I think I did really good with this reinstall. All right, y'all, so that's the finished look. Y'all, this hair, this hair is still bomb. Like, I don't know how many months it's been. It's been a minute. And this hair is still bomb. Eunice, if y'all trying to collab again, let your girl know I love y'all hair. I love, love, love Eunice hair. But yes, y'all, I will have all the details on this hair down in the description box below as well as the original video of me um, installing this hair for the first time. This is a 13 by four frontal unit. And I believe this is a body wave unit, if I'm not mistaken. But of course, as y'all seen, I just straightened her out. And I'm feeling myself. But yeah, y'all, that is all for this video. I freaking love this hair. I love the way that my install came out. This was very, fairly simple and easy. Um, just a reinstall with got to be glue spray and literally that's it. And I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Your girl is going to be back to doing hair videos. I feel like ever since I moved, I just been doing all type of stuff other than like a sit down, just get ready type of video. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I will see y'all in my next video. Uh -huh.